to do here at Hurupaki School is promote uh, a culture of reading throughout our school using our library as a base. We're really lucky at Hurupaki because the principal and the staff are so enthusiastic about reading. They're really committed and supportive of the library. I believe that we have a very strong reading culture at Hurupaki School and I believe that the library is central to this. We have statistics, our annual statistics, to show that our children are high achievers in reading. This includes our Māori and Pacifica children. In fact, we go against the national trend and that we have no tail in that area. The collaboration with other teachers is generally um, at syndicate meetings, staff meetings and you know, PD days where we set major topics for the year for the school. When we're looking at what books the teachers are wanting in the library or they're requesting, we talk with them and we find out what they need. We also use the National Library site which has awesome resources. We try to show the teachers all our new books at staff meetings in the morning over a cup of tea. And we have too, when we've received a grant for a big number of books, set them all out on the tables in the library and we've had a morning tea in here and shown the teachers our new books. I think the success of our library is something that promotes reading culture, is having somebody to drive it. There's got to be a leader. Initially it was me because I'm a trained teacher librarian, I have a passion for this type of learning. When I became principal here, I realized that I couldn't run it myself. So I was really lucky to have the fabulous Yossi and Rachel to take over. When I first started, it was two books the limit, and that's all children could get out. We want the books out, not sitting on the shelves. So we've raised our level, which is awesome, because the kids can then take something for reading that the teacher has helped them pick, a quick reader or something. But they can also go into non-fiction and just pick something because they want to look at it. So that's been a really big thing for us, increasing our loan limit. And next year, I hope to increase it even more and make it for the seniors. They can take out lots more books. We do know that it has a terrific impact on children's reading, their ability to read. And it's also about attitudes to, to learning. It's not a linear process. They don't have to just read the book that the teacher gives them in their classroom that day. They can be self-selecting. They can come in here, they can choose to read or not to read. They don't have to read a particular level. They don't have to read a particular text. They don't have to do what they don't want to. They might just use this as the social hub, but they get drawn in to the things that are going on. The blog I started this year, we've got an Oliver homepage because we're on Oliver. And I update the homepage every week with what's happening. I always promote a good book on there and a website that I think the kids will enjoy. Now we're using it to put our author of the week on and things like that as well. And the kids are looking there for information. That's been really good fun. We know we're on the right track in our library because, you know, Monday morning first thing I have kids coming up to me saying, you know, what's the quiz about this week, you know, and, and they're coming in here looking for things to do, they're looking for the latest books that we've been promoting. We're trying to promote it as a real learning centre and a centre where everything in the school sort of happens. Our library's open every day, all day. We timetable library slots for teachers to bring their classes in during the day. And while they're in the library, they run the library. We've got a booklet on the issues desk which helps them with issuing, returning or looking for books all the information they need is there. I'm here in the afternoons and I help them too. But during lunchtime the library is run by a wonderful student librarians. We train them and they love being in the library. We set them special little tasks to do. Each group every day has a different little task from running the library quiz to presenting the winner of the library quiz at assembly. So it's always busy, there's always things happening 
and the kids love coming in at lunchtime. It's a social place for them as well, so it's lots of fun. Thank you.